Hi YouTube, uh, this is Linda. I just decided that maybe I would do a little short video kind of on the informative and maybe something you haven't thought of. I know a lot of you have already thought of this stuff and um, on the basis of being self-reliant, um, we all think of growing a garden and some people don't have that space or there might be a situation where something happens in the middle of winter and a garden isn't an option. So. I kind of thought that there were some other options out there for us that are healthy options that still get, um, I mean, you can do in small spaces and store easily, you know, for long term. So um, I don't know that any, if any of you have done sprouts, but I frequently will do sprouting off and on. And um, I have a sprouter, plus I have. Uh, canning jars and I quite often use those. I can do a video on how to if that's what everybody needs. Leave me a message and I'll um, do a whole video and show you how you do it. But today all I wanted to do was kind of give you an idea that <coughs> microgreens, which would be sprouts, are so much more nutritious than we know. I mean they just hold a, a powerhouse of vitamins and like radish seeds, or uh, radish sprouts, which is in this package. I get these, and I love this company. This is from Territorial Seed Company. They're out of uh, Cottage Grove, Oregon. I just absolutely love them. They um, get my stuff here on time. They, uh, it's always top quality. I've never had anything they've sent me not actually germinate. So, But radish sprouts are a good source of protein. Uh, vitamins B1, B2, vitamin C, as well as minerals, and they're a great addition on a sandwich, in stir fries, snacking. I just really like, and it's got a little spicy, peppery feel to it. I order a bunch. I've only got two of my favorites out from Territorial Seed Company, um, but uh, the powerhouse of the bunch, I believe, is the broccoli sprouts. That's this package here. And they're also from Territorial Seed Company. There's other sprout companies out there. But this is, uh, let's see, how many ounces is this package? Um, I'll have to look. Um, this actually is, like I said, the powerhouse. Two ounces of sprouted broccoli sprout is 50 times more nutritional value than a full serving of broccoli. So, I don't know who can eat 50 servings of broccoli. I'm probably not in that group. So, I'd rather have these. They're really um, tasty. They don't taste like broccoli. They actually have a peppery taste, kind of like the radish sprouts. Not as zippy, but um, they're really good. They're amazing with vitamins B1, B2, and C also. Many minerals. They're great on sandwiches as well. You really only need a glass jar, some um, oh, cheesecloth, and the ring to go on the jar. You don't have to go buy a fancy sprouter, okay? In fact, Territorial gives you all the instructions uh, right on their bag. And um, I'm trying to think, what size bag? This is a half pound, so eight ounces. Um, eight ounces of broccoli seeds with them, I paid eleven eighty-five. The radish seeds I paid $7.65 for the same half pound. I also buy sprouting seeds in mylar bags from Rainy Day Foods. And they're all mine. I mean, you can look these up. Um, these particular seeds can also be cooked in cereals or ground for flour. So, or for sprouting. Um, I just think sprouts are a great option because you can have a little micro green garden inside your house. What if we couldn't go outside for whatever reason? You know, you didn't have an outside plant or it's winter time and there's no way to get fresh greens in your diet. This is a great way to do it. Alfalfa sprouts, again, um, and, and the, I mean, it, they're so healthy. Okay, I'm reading the nutritional label here. The label, I don't know if you guys can see it. No, probably not. And I am not sure, it's a new camera, so I'm not sure where the zoom is. This is, uh, I'm going to read it for you, total fat zero, of course. Um, 
it's only eight calories per serving. So you're not going to be high caloric intake, but high in vitamins and minerals. So that's my point here. These are 1.5 pound packages. Here we have lentils. Now the calories are m uh, higher. A serving, and it's a half a cup serving, is 339 calories. Um, let's see, no cholesterol, fibers 29 grams in that serving, two sugar, and 25 grams of protein. That's huge, huge. Um, lentils are a great, great sprouting seed to have. Um, we have organic adzuki. Uh -huh. I hate pronouncing words. These are again high in calorie, but very high in protein. 329 calories, four fat, uh, 63 carbohydrates, dietary fiber, 13 grams, and protein, 20 grams. You got to be careful though. If you're not used to a lot of dietary fiber, I, I wouldn't just like throw that into your diet. So you got to you got to ease into that. Whole green peas for sprouts. Um, these are best used for sprouting, it says. And total fats, 1 gram, 335 calories, so that's great. 24 grams of protein, uh, dietary fiber, 25 grams. Total carbohydrates, um, which in a stress situation, you would need the carbohydrates and you would need the extra calories. So these are good options and they're healthy. Um, let's see. Hopefully my videoing, I haven't, I'm not really looking. Uh, <laughs> these are soybeans. They are 19 carbohydrates, 19 protein, 12 grams of fat, 277 calories. So um, you got to weigh that out. They uh, are fabulous I I for a variety. Um, we also have mung beans. Mung beans are low in fat, high in caloric intake, 350 calories. Uh, for a half a cup, one gram of fat, 65 carbohydrates, 17 dietary fiber, and 25 grams of protein. So I really felt like these were a good option for if you were in a stress situation and weren't able, or your house or apartment is too small to do a garden. These are other options to get some fresh uh, vitamins and minerals and things into your diet. Um, if you guys would like to see a video on how I do sprouts, I'd be happy to do that. Uh, I also have seeds uh, that are heirloom seeds that I keep in our deep freeze um, and I rotate those out every five years. So uh, there's, there's plenty of seeds in there and, and they keep if you keep them frozen, they'll last longer, you'll get germination out of them. Um, but, and you can also dry the seeds you get out of those fruits and vegetables to replant the next year. And so that's why we have those. I don't really like to do hybrids. One time I saved seeds out of a hybrid um, acorn squash and the next year they were all white. They didn't taste like anything. The, it was kind of icky and I, I had no idea why. So now I do. Anyway, so I hope this helps you guys. I hope it inspires you to stock up on some of these things. You can keep these seeds in the freezer. They're safe in these airtight mylar bags. And um, I, just, I, I hope this inspires someone to think outside their box and figure out maybe different ways that they can better serve their family. In, I mean, in these, you don't need many. When you do these seeds, um, you're really you're only using a couple of tablespoons to get sprout started. Uh, it's really nothing. Um, you just have to make sure you, you rinse them every day and make sure they're nice and clean so nothing grows on them. All right, so I hope this is informative. Um, please subscribe. Uh, give me comments and if you want me to show you anything else that might have to do with this or something else, leave a comment and I'll see if I can help. All right, see you guys. Bye.